Yo, what's up guys, it's boy Carnival on here, and this is like the second time I had to remake this video because the first one was so long, long, but long story short, this is going to be a critique video on Distant Kingdom, or rather, his latest video. <sighs> now, one, to any, me and all who watch my Twitter Pokemon community, you, you know I find both sides of the po both sides side stupid. I find the Zacians, aka the Bring Out National Dexters, aka the Critics of Sword and Shield, Shield, Shield to be stupid. I find, find them to be stupid. And I find the Zamazentas, aka the Defender, and there's a po Pokemon Sword and Shield, aka the Defenders of Game Freak, also stupid. I find both sides dumb, and I find both sides childish. And I've, and I've already said that there, may, there are smart members on both sides, Right, but I need to add this, they can just be, they can also be just as dumb as the others. And I am not bringing, and I don't mean that, you know, Distant, Distant Kingdom, or anyone, or anyone who's, who's, who is a Critical Sword and Shield is an idiot. I don't mean that, I don't, I don't say that, not that, in a way, way, I just said that both sides are dumb, dumb, and I'm basically on neither side. I am still getting Pokemon Shield, Shield, because frankly, this is the best Pokemon game you're getting today. But Distant Kingdoms on October 2nd, 2nd, 2019, made a video saying Pokemon Sword and Shield dead on arrival. To which he basically says is that since EXP share, since since we're both likely getting permanent each EXP share, it's going to be the same as Let's Go, Let's Go, and it's going to be so crushing. It's going to be the worst game ever. Please keep in mind, not in, he does not ever once say a say in the top of his video, in the video, yo, yo, that this is not confirmed. He only says it in the descriptions, to which is disgusting. Also, before we continue, please look at this. Now, you're most likely seeing, this is just the demo of Sword and Shield with just the EXP. E values. So what? Please keep in note. Please look at the EXP shares. Corviknight gets six experience points. Pikachu at level 18. Dean gets 22. Also Corviknight's at level 45. Please remember that. And Wulu at level 15 gets 28. Score Benny, who is traded, rated because frankly, Lee, you can tell because straight Pokemon get a higher EXP share value. You, you at level 12 gets 70. Lee Sobble at level 12 gets 36. Six and Grookey at level twelve gets seventy as well. Seventy as well. Also traded. Traded. Please keep note. Note that. Note that the exp share. Exp share. Share if it is permanent. Permanent actually is balanced. Balanced and doesn't actually seem. See well. You know. Horrible. It scales depending on level. Oh, oh, rather. Or not on how well you catch a Pokemon, because one Game Freak is not, it's not stupid, stupid and or lazy. See, see, and a bit, and is definitely a balance surrounded. Although we do not know if it is optional or not, that is not confirmed. And it just removes the, the aspect of grinding. If you look, you can see that. But as we are going to go through this video. Yo, I'm going to come back to this, this, this as a repeated form. Now, before we go into it, to, I understand what and what this thinking you know, saying. Yes, the video, yes, EXP share should be optional, optional, optional. But to basically say that it's going to be the same as Let's Go, Let's Go, and spreading misinformation, something that you say you're, say you're against, and to my good sir, when, sir, when someone's saying, when someone says. And saying, saying false or accusations against Masuda, but then you call out saying that this guy was lying. But the moment you do it, it's suddenly okay. I'm just saying you only put put this not confirmed from in description. You never once say in the video. You only bring up your points and critiques, and you rarely ever actually try to bring actual criticism. In a way, how can I? No, uh, no, no. What? Let's go into it. No. Also, please keep note, note that I am not doing this for clout. I just want to bring criticism and actually start a discussion. 
And if this again, if you're watching, I actually would like to actually have a discussion with you on this, and I actually would like to know why you made, made this video, why you don't say, 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 say that this is not confirmed in it, why? Because, dude, this is not good. I watched this, and I did not like this video. It's not a good video. And I'm not on the Defenders of Sword and Shield. Remember, I basically said both are stupid. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Can we turn off experience share in Sword and Shield? So you have to train up each individually. Uh, also, fun fact, I... Fact. Fact. Mori does not say it, but I think they said no comment on that one. Apparently, Sword and Shield will adopt the Forced Experience Share system introduced in Pokemon Let's Go. Forced Experience Share is the worst mechanic introduced in the entire series. And if there is no option to disable Experience Share, then that means Pokemon Sword and Shield will be one of the worst games in the entire series. Here's why. Being forced to have Experience Just... Just looking up the video. Are you good sports? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's <laughs> so don't do it. Mm. Impersonate them. Should to make room for a new one? No. <laughs> Night. Do you think it's possible to include the full Pokedex? Play a bagpipe? Night. Who's your favorite musician of all time? Difficulties <laughs> <laughs> in a Pokemon game? Nice. Why not? Why not? Can Zanacenta pick up Zacian's thing ever make Sable happy? Is Sable going to become more confident as I the mean, <laughs> Have you ever considered making multiple difficulties in a book? They actually do say they want to make it enjoyable for everybody. Okay. That was a weird tangent, but I actually did want to find that specific point. I'll probably go go about it, look it up later. Share on at all video. times removes any and all difficulty from the game, essentially trivializing and lobotomizing it. This makes the game less rewarding overall and thus less enjoyable. Pokemon games were never overly difficult to begin with, but this just further exacerbates that flaw. It encourages the use of a single Pokemon. There's no incentive to train your. The what? How does it encourage the use of a single Pokemon? Remember, this isn't like Let's Go, where our Pikachu was literally broken and we just need to just throw her to attack our enemies. Please keep note, note, note that there are still typings and Pokemon that can still one-shot our Pokemon. This is... ...your other Pokemon because the game trains them for you. This contradicts one of the core, fundamental aspects of the entire franchise, which is raising and training your Pokemon yourself. It completely goes against the philosophy of being a Pokemon trainer. It artificially increases the strength of your team without actually working for and earning those advancements, which detracts from your overall satisfaction regarding team building due to it being unearned. Raising your own Pokemon is an achievement in of itself, giving a sense of fulfillment. The forced experience share system robs you of that fulfillment. It removes the ability to artificially enhance difficulty by being able to turn off experience share. Sun and Moon was balanced around experience share, so if you turned it off, the game would be noticeably more difficult. Other than Gen 5's key system, this is the closest thing to a hard mode in Pokemon. It makes EV training even more obnoxious, which is further incentive for people to just inject their Pokemon instead. And finally, it completely removes other ways to play the game, like grinding or nuzlocks. This is the most egregious offense of the bunch. Hold it right there, Buster. Buster, you say say that this is going to going to damage Nuzlocks? That's a bad Distant Kingdoms. You shouldn't make make such bad news. For I actually did have to go look up what the meaning of Nuzlocks were because I don't do Nuzlocks. In the optional rules section section of Nuzlocks in Bulbapedia, Pedia, you know Pokemon news. Pokemon info site, so site that I go to a lot because I need to know what type, you know the types of Pokemon because I forget them a lot. In the optional rules section, what is this? EXP share is an optional, meaning you can choose whether to use it or not. Now, most likely, most likely in Distant Kingdoms and Nuzlocke, he always has EXP share off, so maybe that's why he finds it bad. But then again, it's optional, man. You don't need to worry about it. 
But still, once again, it only just it only just cuts. Like it just literally cuts down the grinding, grinding of it. That's it. It's not really bad or horrific as you're trying to point it out. No, it just cuts it down. Plus, in my own opinion, in maybe the game's difficulty would be slightly higher. Here, after all, mostly in the main post game, it's gonna give give actual weight wait for it. This is the equivalent of Sakurai removing the option to disable items in Smash Bros. It's that bad. It's not that bad. It, it's not at that level of, of bad. No, 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 I'm not joking. Joking. I don't know why he said that it's that bad. Because frankly, one, if Sakurai did that, it'd be worse. Then whatever you're trying to put that. Because we all know that'd be ten times worse. Removing options from players is the main issue behind being unable to disable experience share. Arbitrarily restricting players is bad game design and makes Sword and Shield a worse game because of it. People struggle to grasp this simple concept. It mostly boils down to this one sentence. Please don't play a game in the way you like because it isn't the way I play it. The main excuse I see is the concept of grinding, which has absolutely nothing to do with the ability to turn experience share on or off. Because everyone likes grinding for hours. But what if I want to spend 5 hours grinding my heart gold soul silver post game team to level 60 against a bunch of level 46 gravelers? The way I see it, it removes a bunch of grinding. What these guys are actually saying is... Wait, that guy was using heart gold and soul silver as an example. Sample. I don't really see how that would work. Work for here and now, but experience share should be mandatory because I don't like grinding. There okay, I'm really wondering what type of experience share are you talking about, man? Man, are you talking about talking about Let's Go's experience share? Share because one, since you love to use a demo so much as a way of bringing your criticism, it it's shown that it's not like Let's Go's. Let's Go's so. Again, I honestly want to know. I understand you want an optional, you know, but one, don't lie and say it's say it's gonna ruin Nuzlocks when Nuzlocks is literally in the optional rule section of the rules of Nuzlocks. Like, it's not mandatory. And two, you stop saying saying that since it's stop just stop saying that it's actually as if it's actually confirmed. You say say in the description it's not confirmed, but never once in the video do you say it's not confirmed. And then you twist the developers' words, words to make them look like the bad guys. Dude, you're spreading this information. I thought you were against that. Come on, man. Therefore, you shouldn't even be allowed the privilege to grind of your own volition because I say so. Exceedingly conceited and selfish statements. People literally can't be bothered to raise their own Pokemon, which is half a reason to play the game in the first place. People have grown complacent and lazy and literally want the game to play itself. There's nothing wrong with providing the player the options to play the way they want to play. The fanbase is so desperate to defend both Sword and Shield and Game. Okay, funny enough, I actually did watch a video on fandoms, fandoms in where, where, where the actual YouTuber basically was questioning why fandoms are so well you know the way they are they are nowadays these and the beauty rex bring, brings up a good fact that people are using the fandoms as a way of escape from the real world since the real world is getting so bad bad to which when someone is criticizing or attacking the thing that they're a fan of to them it feels like a personal attack so so that would explain why everyone's so overtly super defensive. Sensitive. But that's where I that's where I get a problem here. He basically is saying that these the defenders of Sword and Shield are lazy and lazy and he said more morons. Which that's kind of cool, don't you think? I said it before and I'll say it again. Both sides are idiots. It's in every sense and sense of the word word no one is better than the other both are just idiots game freak against all odds that the removal of player options is considered a feature 
Yes, you heard that. He only cites one person who said this. And I don't even know who this person is. Plus, if you look at the likes and retweets, it didn't get a lot. So, I don't see the point. Correctly. The removal of options is... It can be deemed good or bad depending on the person. You're spinning this to say that this is overall is an overall negative and that everyone should agree with, what, with it mob, mob options. Do you not realize that is that how many other game series she have done the exact same thing? Change features? He only says features once. He never once says he he doesn't say, oh, this is a this is a feature man. Man. Plus he does say other gaming series series. He doesn't just it's just that he doesn't quote them. Like Persona, Digimon. Digimon Tales of the Dragon Quest series, they all do this, they all have the EXP share option, and yeah, later in this video, he does bring it up, but he does quote him saying that he's seen features, when really, it's not like, not like that. It's seen as a feature. Plus, he is spinning this overall negative feature in the game. The other main argument is that other RPGs do- Funny enough, he was actually on that, on that main argument as well. But, well, but- the exact same thing. This is a fair argument, but with unfair comparisons. Persona 5 and Dragon Quest XI, two of the main comparisons, use a party battle system of four, while Pokemon primarily uses one. Funny enough, no one brings up Digimon in this, which also uses a, uses a 3 3 3 battle system, which is basically so you have three Digimon in your main, main in the head, meanwhile well, you have, have, I believe, two or three others ready to back you up in case of emergencies. Meaning, aka, your whole front team's taken out. The other games use four times the party members compared to Pokemon, which is a significant difference, hence the unfair comparison. A more fair comparison is using Persona 5's version of Pokemon, called Persona. Plus, also, you, so please keep in the note that you can actually switch out your Persona so a team, team so that way they can out, team members to actually so that way they can also gain experience. And not only that, that, he's about to bring in Persona saying, saying, oh, well, you can just level them up, them up and act to get them stronger, stronger, stronger. So it gives incentive. Keep at least keep in mind that in the Persona series, means you are given multiple incentives. It's one to boost, one to increase the, the social links, the social links of those you have, social links of anyone you, those those who have them, them two to level up your personas, bonus three, three level up, up your teammates, and four fuse your personas to get even stronger, better personas. It's, it is not to just use one, you, to just go with the specific number of personas that you got and never change or switch them out or, or level up fuse or evolve them. And also, please keep this in note. No, when you fuse personas, the persona actually gains the skills, gains from the skills and abilities of the old personas that you once used. You can only use one persona at a time, and only the persona in battle receives experience, just like Pokemon. There is no force experience share system for the personas. Yet there is also an experience share system for you, for you, for you the player, player, your teammates, teammates, because they're all about all four teammates. You can switch out which teammates that you want to use, use, use for that specific fight, so that way you can get them stronger or help you out in the fight. Giving the player incentive to train all of their personas, which is exactly how Pokemon should be as well. Another reason the comparison is unfair is because those games actually have variable difficulties where the experience share is required to progress. Experience share has never been required to progress in Pokemon at all, and in fact, the only way to attain any semblance of difficulty is by turning experience share off entirely. The only solution people could come up with- Also, please keep in mind- mind that this is he says that this is the only solution soon but here's the thing this thing that are, i believe that there's two reasons there's another reason for for this mostly because it because a man and post game are going to be so difficult higher difficulty that's why the xp share is there there also once again this it scales depending on level again sonny he doesn't really pay attention to and ignores. Just wow. It was literally to box your Pokemon, which also goes against yet another aspect of the game, which is to travel with a party of six, not a party of one. Needless to say, nothing good can come of this if experience share is confirmed to be immutable.
I wanted to quick thank oh, there all it of is. those who... He says, as if it's confirmed. Ha! Huh. Only once. Only once. Never once does he con doesn't constantly repeat this, just says it only once. And then to join my Discord server and for leaving with all that being said, confident as it evolves. <laughs> Wouldn't it be kind of fun if this game was just really hard? <laughs> Have you ever considered making multiple difficulties in a Pokemon game? Nice. Why not? Why not? He basically, in the end, decides, yeah, no, let me just use the developer's own words against them, so, to make them look like the real bad guys. Funny enough, in that same little rapid 100 questions, they actually do say say that they were kind, they were kind of overwhelmed with how difficult it was. It wasn't actually was at level at nine, nine. They never said, oh, it was one super easy. See, so, no, it's extremely difficult for them. Um, and the fact that the max three battles are actually going to from we got it from the Game Informer article. It was actually going to be really, really difficult. It's going to be highly difficult, and that oh, we should not really take them lightly. But then again, he's probably just going to ignore that part. Part two, 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 and he even says that he didn't cover the 18 gym leaders, gym leaders because he didn't. It was factual. Although there's a major in minor league, maybe there might might be be 16 seen gems gems because the fact there's a major in minor leagues. So we can battle those other great gyms. I would really find that interesting, but overall, never mind. But in all honesty, I kind of find it. How can I put this? Childish? No, no, no. It's just that the dude spreaded misinformation. He only says if confirmed once, and that's like near the end of the video. Video? I. Video? He doesn't constantly say it like. If this is confirmed, then this is bad. Like, right, please keep in mind that this is not confirmed, this is not confirmed, this is not confirmed. And, and in descriptions, you have to literally show more if you want to see him say it. See him put it in there. But overall, he's overly spinning this as if it's going to be there. And that it's going to be bad. Now please, Distant Kingdoms, if you're watching this, keep in mind that this is the EXP share value that you are saying is going to be bad. And it's scaled properly. It isn't like let's go where let's go where oh my Pokemon all got seventeen thousand experience points each. No, it's not gonna be like that. It's going to be balanced and fair. It isn't gonna be broken. And please keep in mind that this is from the same demo. The same demo you like demo you use for your critiques. Also, you make the also, I've also noticed that in your videos, you make this idea that the reuse of models is bad? Or rather, that you're saying that Game Freak is reusing models. No. Also, fun fact, they never want- I also said this before in my Pokemon community video, and so is Andre- Andres? Andres? He's- He's who also made a video- made a video earlier than mine. Which was the reason I made my video. Access to over 9, well, he actually does say that one Pokemon Sword, one that the Pokemon developers never once said that they actually are going to well that that this wasn't because they want to make higher quality animations. But he <laughs> kind of makes he does. I think his whole, whole whole point of it was just to bring up the fact that they reuse models, but. He kind of makes it sound like it's a bad thing, to which, from what I heard from him, said, and, said, and what his opinion, on it, it's it's a good thing because it actually gives them time to gives them more gives them the attack to grow and become better. Also, fun fact, fact you can if you actually pay attention enough, if you can actually tell the oh, actually look and see that there are slight updates to it, although they are slightly there's still an update. It's not a good form, form but anyway, we're all. But oh, overall, Distant Kingdoms you just made a really, really bad video. I mean, it's not like god awful, but you were literally spreading this information, and I thought you were against that. Seriously, it kind of makes you look like a hypocrite. In all honesty, I just want to say this, make this video because I want you to understand that one, this type of stuff isn't really okay. 
this isn't okay. Saying this in the this in the description of your video where I can't see it and not at the top of the description and not saying it constantly, this video is not a good thing. You're spreading misinformation. I did it. I didn't even pick up on the if part. Part. I didn't even pick up on that. I had to literally pay even more just to get it. This isn't a good thing, man. I'm not telling you to delete the video, you know, but just be be careful next time, because the whole video you made was literally not a good video. You spread it as if it is confirmed, and rather not. As if it's already confirmed, and rather not, there's a chance if I don't know. To which it's kind of cruel, and really messed up. It kind of makes you look like not a good person. I'm not saying this out of, out of negativity or hate, and also, once again, you make it sound like it ruins Nuzlocke, and really, EXP shares in the optional rules forms. forms so I don't understand where that idea came from. And it only just cuts down on the grinding, to which I don't really see how that's bad. Bad, but then again, I play Monster Hunter like crazy, crazy, and I literally grind for, grind for like that rare drop. Oh great, now he's gonna probably just say, hey, imagine this. Or, uh, never mind. But overall, if you're watching this video, please understand, I'm not doing this for clout or anything. I'm just trying to tell you, dude, this ain't a good video. Come on, you're someone who's supposed to be a critic, yet this is how you critique on a feature that isn't feature that we don't even know if it's know if, know if it's real or not, or rather something that might may or may not be mandatory. I don't, I don't get that. I really don't. But anyway, wait, that's it. Twenty-seven minutes. Wow. Now, anyway, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, share this video. If you're gonna share it to distant kingdoms, go ahead. Head, I don't really care. Care, I just want to understand something. Thing, and please, please, if any distant kingdoms fans watch this and decide to just start attacking me for no reason, please, please, in all honesty, if you're gonna tell me to go. No KYS, as please come up with better material. Please, I actually would like to have some new new some actual new insult material rather than generic boring ones. Or if you're gonna give me actual criticism and critiques, please note that one I one I do not have scripts for this, so <laughs> I kind of just go all prompt. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's it. That's it. This is Conrad, signing off. Bye.